so we put this video together. It's a ride that we took in um, February 2019. Mm -hmm. We're down uh, staying in uh, Raymondville, Texas. Uh, we had um, a group of about three other couples come by and ask us some, uh, earlier in the day if we want to go for a ride that day because this is going to be beautiful. We said, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Good morning. So we're getting ready to uh, go on a bike ride. We got invited some other bikers here in the RV park to see if we want to go down to Brownsville and get some uh, shrimp and bring it back. So it sounds like a great idea. It's a good day. It's going to be almost 80 degrees and sunshine, as you can see. Brownsville, Texas, right? We're going to Brownsville, Brownsville. Texas. That's right. We're in Raymondville now. So that's where we're going to go. So we're going to go meet up with everybody and take a ride. Uh -huh. Uh, we rode all the way down to near near San Padre Island, but not onto it, but um, between San Padre and Brownsville, Texas, to the shrimp outlet. Yep. <laughs> and they gave us a great tour. Um, one of the gentlemen that works there, and just 
told us all about the shrimp boats and the netting and the refrigeration and the gas and how long it takes them to um, you know, go out and get all the shrimp and how far they have to go. Yeah, they went out way out of ways and two, yeah. three months at a time they'd be gone. And then this hatch right here, that goes down to the freezer and the freezer is everything from the back of this winch to about five feet from the end of the boat down below. But um, the shrimp was awesome. We went and bought five pounds of it, brought it back, and cooked it up. Some of the best shrimp I've ever had. And we still have some. We didn't cook it all at one time, <laughs> even though we could have tried. Yeah, well, we kind of saved it. Yep, one pound packages, so we got some to, to last for a while. Uh, but it was pretty, I liked it too. I, li I kind of liked looking at all the shrimp boats they had. to Harley's Beer Garden. Um, it was, it's about a 20 minute ride from there. to Harley's Beer Garden. I would say it's the best little honky-tonk beer garden I've ever been to. It was really nice. We first rolled up there, we all got there on the bikes, and there was a real nice old Ford pickup. I think it was a 52 or 53 or something. And, and here's this dog just sitting in there. <laughs> and we're right next to it, kind of like I'm next to Carolyn here. And he's looking at us, so Carolyn tapes him a little bit. Then the minute she turns off that camera, I go to get out with my, my uh, camera stick, I call it my monopod. And boy, that dog, he started barking. He, he didn't like that monopod. He, he thought, did not like the stick. Yeah, he thought it was a stick. <laughs> so we didn't get it, but it was pretty funny. Um, but it was, it was a good time. You can tell that they have a lot of events. They have inside venue, they have an outside venue, because obviously it gets pretty damn hot there in the summertime. Yeah, a nice, nice atmosphere. It's just a honky-tonk dive, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And they have pet chickens. And with great, a leash. With a leash. <laughs> yeah, he hates it. Oh my god. But. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hates it. But it's okay. And while we're there, you know, everybody's questioning us about what we do full-time RVing and how we video stuff. All right, those back when you had a hero, so that's hero two. Now the hero okay. seven supposedly so destabilizes guess, itself, and um, there's actually a couple from Minnesota there that mm -hmm. met another couple who just happened to be in the area from Minnesota. Also, <laughs> they rode up on their bike and they hit up conversation for a good half hour. Yeah. Um, so you never know what's going to happen when you're out on the road. <laughs> good place, Harley's.
So all in all, I thought that was a great ride for February day down in Texas. <laughs> it was a nice warm day. We really enjoyed it. Now we're up here in Louisiana right now. It's actually Mardi Gras. Go ahead. Mardi Gras week. It's Mardi Gras day. Day. It's cold. Tell me how cold it was last night. Uh, in the 20s. Yep. And this morning, right now, actually, it's 40 degrees. We're 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 behind the the rig, getting out of the wind here to do this taping and keep warm. But um, no, it was a nice ride. I'm, I'm really glad that we went. We got some shrimp. We went up to Harley's. Just enjoyed um some nice company. Yep, a lot of nice people. They were really very friendly. In fact, we uh actually met up with them a night or two later and had cocktails and venison stew and yeah. um, some homemade wine and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> So we're gonna try and make a lot more riding videos like this. We've got a lot of video that we just haven't uh, done anything with that we're gonna to put together and- um, From all of the United States. Yep, put it here on YouTube from uh, years ago and this summer. Just get caught up from us going up to uh, Sturgis and all that pretty soon. Um, so look and, forward to that. Yep, so um, if you like what we do, okay, left. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. Like, like us. Share with your friends. Um, if you think someone will like this type of thing we're doing in, in our lifestyle, because um, we want everybody else to enjoy it too, and there's no reason why you can't do it. Um, don't wait till you're too old, or don't wait till you're old enough to retire, because you may not be able to do it. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. And we're enjoying the heck out of it. I mean, a lot of the people, um, they're having a good time too. And don't forget, we'll take you there. <laughs> <laughs>